Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today I am very excited, really been looking forward to getting this guy. It's taken me a while, right? Amazon didn't come through, finally GameStop came through, but lo and behold, he finally showed up. This is the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Man Bat action figure and this is the giant, deluxe, ferocious Man Bat based off of, I don't know, DC Rebirth or something or other it's 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 a much more larger in your face man bat and dang it all he looks good the artwork on the back is straight from a comic book not really this man bat though he's got green pants this one's got blue here's the barcode of course when you want to scan it in store if they start hitting anytime soon and this is going to be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse the deluxe figure man bat and of course, here is Dr. Kirk Langstrom all out of the packaging, looking as ferocious and monstrous as ever. This is a giant, hefty, heavy brick of a figure. It's basically a murder weapon. I'm not even joking, but that's a little bit of its downfall, unfortunately, because of its heaviness. Well, we'll talk about that in just a second, because look at the head sculpt on this thing. This is amazing. I love it. The teeth are out. Would have loved an articulated jaw, just saying. That would have been awesome to go chomp, chomp. You know what I mean? But I like the little accents, the pink, the teeth, the fur. Just everything about this is a awesome looking man bat action figure. You can see all the musculature. That makes no sense, of course. He's got some ripped jeans. Nice detail on the jeans. Nice paint on the jeans, of course. And he's got these big old feet. The joints have been updated. They are glorious. They work fantastic. And like I said... They kind of also work against it, but we'll get to that in just a second. The backside is missing paint, however. The rips in the jeans don't have the brown paint to see his skin tone. So that's kind of a cop-out. I really wish they would have painted all the way around, right? A little, come on, McFarlane, you, you can do this kind of stuff. The arms are really cool. Now, this is where I think a lot of people are going to go, well, you can't swap the hands, you can't move the hands. Yes and no, yeah, it's it's okay, but I like seeing all the musculature and all the detail and all the veins. The paint is nice. The hands do get kind of lost in the sculpt, right? Because they're more of that fisted hand, you could say. They're painted nicely, but I just wish they were open hands. Or you could swap them out somehow. On the back side, you see the wings and how they morph into his fingertips. And you got the back part of the wing. There's no paint back here. And that's another problem where I wish they would have painted the individual fingers amidst the wing parts. If you catch my drift there. But... It's still a really cool figure, so I wouldn't take my word on anything I'm going to say about this figure because I really do like this a lot. Now, in terms of the articulation, I will say it is awesome. And that's where I do wish he had interswappable wings, like outstretched wings, because you get this guy in lots of cool flight poses, if so, because the head goes up, it goes down. He's got some upper diaphragm, and he's got one heck of an ab crunch. It actually has an ab crunch. This is probably the first time I could say for a McFarlane figure, it has a proper all the way down ab crunch and it works gloriously. The legs are, we'll say a bit pre-posed, right? Cause he's kind of crouching, but he does have double jointed knees. He's got those great new ball joints that they made for these figures. He does have, I mean, let's say this. He's got some great articulation in the shoulders. He has single jointed elbows which do spin you can kind of see it. it works it works its way around the individual parts of the wings which is totally fine I don't need the extra articulation in the hands I really don't I would have preferred extra wings right but here's the main problem with this guy his feet and his legs are incredibly loose more so the ball joints of the feet which they work perfectly in articulating the figure but then because he is so top heavy i mean no joke you could throw this thing through a brick wall he is just too heavy to be supported by these tiny little ball joints so you really do have to get him into a pose which yes you definitely can and yes you definitely will say oh, i've solved it it's great especially now it's not going to work for the video but give it about 10 minutes or so and he's going to come crashing down and take all the other figures with him but like i said this is an amazing looking man bat. I am so happy with the way this thing came out. Loose joints and all. I know. Don't don't take my word for it. This is going to be completely up to you 
on this one because I love the look of this man bat. You can crouch him down. You could totally just display him in this stand, right? Get the knuckles down on the ground, have him crouching down on a rooftop. You know what I mean? Have him outstretched. The wings do look like he's outstretched, kind of sort of flying, not really, but it looks like he just ripped out of his medical coat. He just transformed into man bats and now he's ready to take on the Batman. And that's where that new Hush Batman, I like the head sculpt because it's more like a surprised head as well. You could do a lot of cool photos. Like, whoa, what is going on with this guy? I was just trying to help him out with all his zoological finds, right? But the scalature on these two is perfect. It is a giant, massive, hulking man bat next to Batman. And if you're just a fan of, let's say, DC Universe Classics, he will fit in great with that. It's kind of like Diamond Select, Marvel Select compared to Hasbro Marvel Legends, where the bigger characters work no matter what line you are collecting. And in looking at what's come before for Man Bat figures, here is the DC Universe Classics Man Bat. Remember this guy? Don't have the white version, but this guy was great, and he works. And that is part of the charm of DC Universe Classics. It is still a glorious toy line and really does a great job in bringing the golden age the truest sense of all these dc comics characters into plastic mcfarland toys is very much the new era of dc comics whereas mattel's dc universe classics really personified that classic nature everything we think about with batman and superman and all the villains right that's DC Universe Classics. And it's not to say that McFarlane Toys is doing a bad job by any means, but everything's beefed up now. Everything is bigger and more ferocious, and it works, but sometimes the classics are fun as well. And speaking of classics, you gotta have one of the originals, the Batman the Animated Series Kenner Man Bat. I love this guy. He's got a little mechanism, makes his arms flap. That was cool for back in the day. Heck, even this little man bat right here, right? <laughs> Had this guy forever. Kind of looks like the one on the back of the packaging, right? So, yes, Man Bat is a very cool character to me. One of the fan favorites. And, uh, yeah, this new Man Bat is no exception. Now, in looking at the scale for the bigger type characters, Man Bat is heavier than Clayface. Taller, uh, you know, you get him on his haunches and everything. He is a taller figure. But, uh, again, having these two revealed and then having them side by side now... Bring on the Batman villains. That's all I'm going to say. And speaking of which, just to kind of go over, if you've never heard of this comic, which I didn't know until I think they were on issue three. I was like, wait, this is real? Task Force Z. Go look it up. Go read it. It's not that great, but you get the idea. Red Hood leads a band of <laughs> Lazarus resin villains. All the villains are basically dead and brought back to life. Nothing matters in the DC universe, just FYI, but it's not the right Arkham Knight. But at one point, Man Bat and Bane are part of it. This is uh, what works for the McFarlane toys. Yes, you can add Deadshot and KG Beast and a few others here and there, but uh, this is what's going to kind of fit for right now. But hey, you know, the Bane with his, uh, his zombified look totally fits for Task Force Z. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the deluxe man bat action figure. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything man bat. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, McFarlane Toys, if you're listening, we need a Mr. Bloom. Mr. Bloom with all the hand attachments and wackadooness that has that character. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.